Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to more Thorncraft 5. It has been around about a month since I've done the Thorncraft 5 Let's Play and we're on episode 3 right now. I do apologise for the really long wait guys. As you know, things happened but also Thorncraft 5 was released and I was doing the guide for that as well. So now that is done and out of the way, I am knuckling down and getting started with playing Thorncraft 5 in a Let's Play kind of fashion. Now the first thing I want to say guys is, can you see the trees? I mean, not, not, not necessarily on my cursor, but these trees that are just, like, off in the distance towards the left and right of my cursor. Do you see the little wobble that's happening? I really don't know what that is. I would presume it's a bug with Thorncraft and the fa uh, fancy graphics, because if I change it out of fancy, there is absolutely no wobbling going on whatsoever. I mean, I like the um, fancy graphics, though. I'm going to leave them off for the moment, mainly because, of course, guys, that wobbling really does get your eyes and it, it makes it go all strange. So, as I said last episode, what I'm going to do this episode, guys, is go out there. I'm going to do some mining right now. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start setting up some farms. I'm going to set up all of the basic stuff that I will need going forward in Thorncraft 5. I need feathers. I need leather. I need gold. I need iron. I need a whole load of actual stuff. And, of course... It would be very boring to go ahead and put that on camera. So what I'm going to do is try to do a little bit of a montage for you guys. And um, I will see you guys after this montage. Well guys, we are back after that little montage and I have done a lot of work on the outside of the building. I have a little chicken pen which isn't doing great at the moment but give me some eggs and that will eventually get there. And I've got two of each type of animal at the moment. I've got two sheep, I've got uh, two cows and two pigs over there. So, um, which one of them happens to be a baby? Not sure how that happened. I mean, I must have been kicking around there and like giving them wheat or something. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but one of them is a baby and uh, we've got that there. That will eventually grow up and we will get that eventually. So, um, that's what I've done down here. Up there, I've got a little tree farm because really, I need wood and I need loads and loads and loads and loads of wood because eventually I'm going to make yeah, buildings and stuff like that. And I've got a little farm here. It's only a tiny little farm at the moment, but eventually with Thorncraft and stuff, um, I'm going to get bigger farms and uh, everything else. Now what I do want to do outside here is get those little blocks um, that will allow me to run fast when I'm on them. Uh, so that would be good. Um, I've got a, a source of food, both in wheat and in animals now, so that's not bad. What I really do need to do is go out and go uh, mining. But for the moment, what I um, what I need is feathers and I need leather. So I'm waiting on my wheat. What I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, just let that grow. I'm going to go AFK for a bit. I'm going to let that grow. And I'm going to keep my eye on everything. And uh, I will be back once I've got some leather, some uh, feathers, and so on and so forth. So that we can finally get on with some more of this Thormanomicon. So... Looking inside here, guys, when we go to Thaumaturgy, it's actually... Where is it? No, it's not... Uh, it's uh, al No, it's Artifice. <laughs> that's what it is. We need the Paving Stone of Travel, and that's really going to set things off, because I want to travel everywhere using these Paving Stones of Travel. Now, I need Scribing Tools to be able to get that. I do have Scribing Tools on here, but I need a reliable source of them. I have eight Ink Sacks on there, so I will want to try to kill as many squids as I can. Though, they don't seem to be spawning in there at the moment. Not entirely sure why. Don't know why. But um, maybe because I killed them all not so long back and they don't want to actually migrate over here anymore and they want to try to keep their lives. So I've gone somewhere else instead. Like, maybe this side. Maybe they've gone over here. Hello. Squids? Squids, I'm not going to kill you, I promise. I'm just going to shave a little bit off. Just going to shave a little bit off. Have I seen this before? Not sure. Oh. There we go, look, squids, guys. But, yeah, I'm going to start collecting some more of this. Ah, nice. 
Air shards. Air crystal shards. Nice. Come here. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. Get here. You can't leave. Oh, man. There's loads of squids over there. But yes, collect them while I, f while I see them. Because otherwise, um, there won't be any when I want to actually collect some. It's typical. That's just how Minecraft works, I'm afraid. So, let's get under here. In fact, let me go for some water, some air first, not water first. I'm in water. There we go. I did manage to get that one. And then we'll float back up. And like I said, I'm just going to go AFK for a bit. Let that wheat grow out. Get some uh, cows grown and so on and so forth. Or maybe just go around the world and start killing everything. That won't be too bad because I've got the uh, cows, sheep and pig now. Um, as well as some more chicken as well. So I've got all of that. Might just go around the world, sleep for a bit. And then go around the world and start killing some stuff. Okay, guys, it's a brand new day. Something worthy of note that I actually didn't tell you guys, and I'm not sure if I put it in the montage or not, but when I hold the thermometer in my hand, as you can see, I can't see any nodes kicking around. However, if I look in the general direction of one, there should be... Oh, hang on a minute. What? Nothing new can be learned of this. Oh, it's the fence. No? What the hell is it? Is it grass? No? What is giving me those... Is it that? Ah! But yeah, if you look in the general direction of one, there it is. If you look in the general direction of one, it will in fact just show up out of nowhere. Now, I wouldn't be able to notice this if I didn't have that in my hand. So that has changed. You can see, normally you would see a tiny little blob there, but unfortunately, that seems to have been taken away. So there is absolutely no little blob there whatsoever. And then there it is. It is an Ignis node. Uh, which is good, you know, it will refill Ignis. Now, the good thing about having uh, aura nodes around, uh, around the place is it will refill the aura as well. So, I really need to start the aura manipulation and really draw some more nodes into this one and make it a big node so that it can, can keep replenishing the nodes at uh, the aura around this place. Because if I'm going to be using this as my base, I'm going to be doing a lot of Thorncraft around here and I really want to try to keep the tent out as much as I possibly can. So getting some of the aura manipulation stuff and uh, you st that kind of stuff is a little bit further down the line, but uh, you know, I'll survive. I'll survive. Anyway, I'm going to go out and about guys and start killing some stuff. Ooh, I see something in the background, guys. Look at this. This is the first little piece of tent that I've come across. And again, like I said, it works kind of differently in, uh, in, in, in this one. Look, if we go, if we take our thermometer, we're absolutely fine here. We'll actually move back a little bit. We've got a little bit of tent coming in here. But then we will go into this chunk right here, and you will see it change. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Let me see what that is. Oh, Invitium. Nothing can be learned from that. If we go into this, and it should change, and the, the, uh, oh, it's not actually, I thought it was going to be higher than this. Right, is that going to change into a bad thing? Should I get rid of that? Will that be tainted wood? Tainted wood, oh, tainted wood. Oh, come on, how long is this going to take? Oh, I've got taint flu now. With around taint too long. My god, that took forever. What is this? So get a bit of that as well. Oh, it actually released some taint. That did. Is it something I can attack? Or oh no 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 no! I don't want that. It's gonna just disappear. No, no. Let's put that there. So we have actually got taint wood logs now. Interesting. Could we always get them? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, this is where um, taint is higher than everywhere else. So if we go into the next chunk along. It should be go, um, like going back to normal here. So, there we go. It's actually going down more. Which is good. Aha! Sheep, I am after killing you. Please. Now, there should be some cows. That, mind you, I took the only two cows that were around here. So, there probably might not be some cows around here. I'm going to have to see if I can find any. Okay, guys, we are back. Now, I have some leather. I went ahead and uh, bred my cows in the end. I did manage to kill a few cows that was out there, but uh, I did breed my cows with a couple of bits of um, bread that I've got. I've cut down my trees as well, so I've got a nice uh, stack of wood. Well, not a stack of wood, but I've got some more wood in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and drag out a feather. In fact, no, I'll do two. I will do two this time. Um, I also want um, some... Uh, where is it? Where is my leather gone? Is it in here? It is in there. Good stuff. I want my 
feather, I need an ink sack. Why did I get, hang on a minute, why did I get leather? I'm just thinking about it here, guys. Why the hell did I get leather? I needed glass, uh, glass bottles, didn't I? Ah, uh, scribing tools will work with glass files as well. Great. Um, let's put that away, let's put that away. And we have ourselves a couple of scribing tools. Now, I'm going to grab this one. No, actually, I'll leave that one in there for the moment. What I want to do is keep this one in my inventory. Along with that, I'll put the leather back into there, actually. And um, I'm going to grab the thermonomicon. And we're going to get the paving stone of travel. You need scribing tools and paper. Okay. I haven't got a piece of paper, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Winning. So I'll click on that. And now I've got the uh, thing for the paving stone of travel. Now, this is going to take me a little while to be able to do. Um, so I will be back once it's done. Okay, guys, we have done it. It's a roundabout-ish kind of way of doing it, I suppose. Um, what the, the problem was, was connecting these two airs together. There was a right pen. Anyways, we've done it, and we have our discovery easing your journey. And there we go, the paving stone of travel. I do actually want to make some of these if I possibly can, um, though it will take some doing. We need 50 terra and 50 air. Um... I make four per one. I need some arcane stone bricks. I need an air shard and an earth shard, of which I don't have uh, any earth shards at the moment. I've got some air shards, though. Well, I know where some air shards are. I need some arcane stone brick. Now, I actually need arcane stone for that. How do I get arcane stone? Again, pulls. Do I not know? There we are, look. Uh, just stone around a shard, which is pretty much exactly the same as it's always been. Good stuff. All right. Well... I am going to go and put some cobblestone into the furnace over here. Only 32. Don't need too many of it there. Too many of it. Too much of it there. I do apologise if you can hear some dinging in the background. Uh, my tablet is going absolutely crazy. Um, so what I'm going to do... How much... What do I have in the way of shards? This is something that I really need to... I don't have anything. Okay. This is something that I really need to keep in mind. Now don't forget... Like uh, in the past, I'm just going to go to my mine. Oh, in fact, no, there was some over here, wasn't there? I remember. I remember. But down here, there was some. Was it down here? No, there was one that was... Where is it? Is this it? Oh, that's Ignis. But that's good. That's good. There's a lot of Ignis there. But that wasn't what I was looking at. Where the heck did I put... Or did that... Um... Thing go. Is that? Oh no. Can we walk over these? No, we can, but you know, it doesn't hurt us. Ah! Ah! <laughs> right, we need to right click. Shift right click. No? How do we get one of these off? I forgot. I thought it was right click with this. No? Does it not? Wait a second. How do I do this? I forgot. Right, skeleton. I'm, I'm going to have to leave this place for a moment and figure out how to uh, do this. I'm pretty sure that I remember me saying that right-clicking it with a wand... Oh, maybe I need a gold wand to be able to do it. Mm. I've got some great wood over there. Whoa. I've got some great wood over there, and I do have some gold to be able to make a gold-capped um, wooden wand. Uh, gold-capped great wood wand. It's going to sleep really quickly. I've got the achievement for... Um, getting some leather, apparently. I haven't actually got some leather from cows, so... Interesting. Right. So what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Smooth stuff. Oh, and figure out how to do this. Right, I'll be back in a second, guys. I think the reason why I can't do it at the moment, guys, is because... Oh, no. How did you get in? Literally, how did you get in? I swear to God. Oh. No, that one's covered as well. How the hell did they get in there? Or maybe they opened the door. Or maybe they spawned in the door? They shouldn't be able to spawn in the door, surely. No? I have no idea. Anyways, I think the reason why I can't uh, actually have this one at a time is because I haven't got the research to be able to do so as of yet. At least I think that's how it is. I've done a full-on guide, guys, and I can't even remember that. <laughs> it's typical me, really. Typical me. So, we're going to go ahead and just get rid of some of these. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and get one of the little ones. There we go. We've got a couple of them. That'll get me some arcane stone to be able to work with. I think it's eight pieces per one, which is why you use the uh, smooth stone. Right, where's my house? There it is. So, we'll go ahead and make some arcane stone. And hopefully, during this episode, I need to find some terra, uh, some terra crystals and 
the other air, air was it? I'm pretty sure it was air. There we go. Let's put that around there. Oh no, hang on a minute. I need a thingy. I need a thingy. I need a work table. I haven't got a work table yet. Okay, let me go and grab some wood. Or if that will do. I think I've still got some slabs in there. I do. Pop that like that. And then there we go. We've got a nice wooden table there. I'm going to slap it right next to that. I'm going to get my wand and put that on the top there. Don't know why, but it's looking see-through at the moment. Really don't know why. But uh, never mind. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get that like so. And that's got 25. That'll be enough to be able to make some. Oh, <laughs> that's the wrong thing. And there we go. Arcane stone for me, please. That's nine pieces. Interesting. So we need to make the arcane stone bricks. That's going to be the four that it needs. Um, and it goes something like that, along with... What was it? Air and earth. Now, I'm going to have to go out and find some of this, but uh, I will be right back because I'm pretty sure I saw some in a cave over there somewhere. Well guys, I found the terror. It was right up here. Now I think I've actually used some before, so I've really got to be careful using this, especially when I'm breaking it away um, without taking off the individual crystals. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the, the, the main reason why I can't get the individual crystals off is maybe because I didn't actually place them in the first place. Now I think it might have something to do with that, but I'm not quite sure. And I found the uh, the big load of air shards that was in one of the caves over yonder place. So I now have everything I need to be able to make my first um, traveling stones. Now there's only going to be four of them currently. I can make up to, well, uh, 12, uh, no, nine, no. No, 12, I can. I can make up to 12 of them at the moment because I've only got three of the uh, the Terra ones, but um, we'll see how we go. We will see how we go. So let me go back really quickly. Did I put, I think I put my food away, didn't I? I must have put my food away. That was a very stupid maneuver. But I mean, look at it, guys. This, this place is coming on. This place is coming on a little bit. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Now, it's going to get better, of course. The more I get into Thorncraft and stuff, all of this stuff is not staying here. I will move uh, my, my bits and bobs. There we go. Well, yeah, the other way around, maybe. There we go. It needs 50 of each, so I'm going to need that in my hand for the moment uh, to be able to replenish. Now, I'm actually not going to do that in my home environment. Uh, I think I will go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'll put you back. Right, I need you. Uh, I won't do this in my home environment. What I will do is I will go a little bit further afield and uh, fill it up using the aura around there. Now, be aware um, that the aura from around the place will start seeping into uh, a place which has had its aura depleted. So that's something to keep in mind. But for the moment, I think I'm going to go a little bit just further afield of... Oh, I forgot my food again. Um, you know what, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> There's going to be plenty of stuff in there as well, guys. So uh, it should replenish using some of that node that's there and so on and so forth. I really want to start messing around with uh, nodal mechanics and stuff. It's going to be great, guys. It is going to be great. So what are we looking at? I need to wait until that gets up to 50 of each. It's a fresh new day, and we've got our enough in our wand now. We've got 90, 91 of everything. Um, so I'm going to go and get my food back out of here, because I'm getting hungry. I thought I took that with me, but apparently not. So we should be able to make our very first paving stones of travel. Now, the reason why I want to make some of these guys is I just want to, I just want to be able to move a little bit faster around the place. So, I think round about here, there's only four, so this is going to take a long while for me to get this properly done, but uh, it's certainly going to help me move around the place just that little bit quicker. Ooh, does it give me the, does it give me a boost? Right, hold up here. Because it, I keep running. And then it stops. Okay, it must give me a boost. Let me just test this a second. Ah, speed one and jump boost. There we go. So it actually gives you a jump boost as well. So there we go. Oh, I'm going to go very quickly over to my farm here. And uh, get inside and get all of this wheat. So I can start um, breeding my animals. For next time we come back. 
And the next time, what I want to do, guys, uh, between now and next time, is I'm just going to try to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, what do you call it? Research. That's the one. Okay. No, you need carrots, don't you? I forgot. Um, ah, sheep, chickens. You need seeds. Ah, well, you're in luck today, guys. How? Get here. There we go. They're in luck today. Can have a little baby one kicking around. Good stuff. And also an egg we can chuck back in there. And I want to be able to just, you know, bolster all of this up uh, so that we can get out of, get these. I want to have a full path going all the way through. And I think what I will do is replace some of this path as well so I can just, like, run around up to my farm, to my tree farms, and so on and so forth. But now, for now, you know, the one will have to be enough. Still I haven't got enough to be able to... Uh, I really want to make the next tier of wand, though. I think that's going to be one of the next uh, parts of call for the next episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it, guys, and welcome back to Thorncraft 5. It won't be too long before the next episode comes out now, so I hope that you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please go ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Until then, I'll be the top man as always. Stay safe.